Well guys, we're still hanging in there. Uh, we got another three inches or so of snow last night. Um, these are the tracks from my Toyota Tacoma where I drove them yesterday evening right before the snow come and now they're pretty much covered up again. But we have a bigger issue on our hands. Uh, we actually have a water hydrant. One of the <laughs> most important ones here on the farm is froze up. <sighs> so, uh, I mean, we do have other things in store, but it is just a pain to have to come out here and do this. And you guys know, if you've been following the other videos and stuff, we were, we were pretty good set up, or set up pretty good, I guess, with the stock tanks. I had extra water. I brought in a second stock tank just because I was afraid this could happen. I was afraid this hydrant would uh, freeze up, and that's exactly what it did. Let's see if it still froze. We still have water to our house, thankfully. I don't know why this one's froze. These are supposed to be frost-free. And uh, just up the line there where it comes from, I have another hydrant that this one's tied on to. And that one works just fine. So I've been carrying buckets down here, giving them some water. But I actually got the heater in this one here. Uh, one thing I did go ahead and do is I brought this other stock tank. And while this one wasn't frozen, I went ahead and filled this one up because I was afraid this could happen. But you can see I've had this open now for about a minute and it is still not coming out. So it has froze up down somewhere, probably in here, I don't know. These frost-free hydrants aren't supposed to freeze up like this. They're actually supposed to drain the water out so they can't freeze. But the little uh, plunger valve in the bottom might have some sand or sediment or something in there. All right, so I'll leave that pipe in there because I always attach this pipe to the end of this and stick it in this tank to fill it up. But as you can see, we got a big icicle. So let's just see if this thing... This is the uh, new water heaters and we've had very good luck with them. And it looks like it's doing its job. I'm going to leave it in here. It's going to take a little bit. The goats have still been drinking out of it and that was a problem while ago so i came over here i stuck the tank heater in there and i went back in the house and didn't think anything of it but once that started melting the ice the goat started drinking that water and what happened is they drank all the water around that heater to where the heater wasn't even sitting in water it was just sitting on ice so it didn't do any good but it's going to take a little bit of time as you can see there's there is a ton of liquid in there but the majority of it is still ice. It looks like it's thawed out all the way to the bottom. I don't know how that works, but what this tank heater does is it detects that the temperature is below 35 degrees. And when it's below 35 degrees, it automatically kicks on and it starts heating in those two copper coils there. And it heats the water up and that water heats up the ice and then eventually it all melts. These are 50 gallon tanks and so far this whole storm this arctic blast that we have this thing hasn't froze over one time and i was keeping it full until the hydrant froze but can't do that now so uh we're gonna let this thing do its job we're gonna just keep checking it to make sure it eventually melts i do see a problem though so this is what happens when you just set these things on here like this it has this metal cage and what that does is it protects the uh the plastic or the poly tank from these heating elements from melting it so as this thing melts down in the ice this wire cage that it's on can get kind of hung up on the ice and it'll keep it from uh falling down any lower and it'll just be sitting in the air not really doing any good but there we go i think we got it now it's sitting to where it should start uh falling down and heating up more water and it will take a little bit but like i said they probably have 10 or 12 gallons in here that's liquefied already and they'll be able to get a drink well you know miss daisy hmm? well you know girl everybody's coming out today we fed them early this morning and uh, now it's evening time and uh, it's about time to feed them again So although this is a potential problem, um, we have a remedy. We have backups to backups like we said, but uh, if we weren't thinking ahead, this could have been a big disaster. But this is not what we want to see at all. Uh, 
it's horrible when you get stuff like your hydrants froze your house pipes froze anything like that that's never a fun day so here in a second i'm gonna go grab some feed and we'll get everybody fed i think the kids are fixing to come outside and play um we wanted to wait until it warmed up today and it's not warming up very much you guys can see these clouds there's no sunshine out but uh i think we're at the warmest part of the day it's a uh staggering 20 degrees right now so we're still well well below freezing so this hydrant ain't gonna thaw out anytime soon and if it gets to where i need to haul water or anything i can take a propane torch and i'll show you guys i can take a propane torch and put to that hydrant it's all metal and uh i've seen people do it before you just pretty much warm it up until the ice thaws out and then it will actually free up the pipe to where the water will flow and let me show you guys what propane torch i'm talking about it's actually one i bought um last summer we were burning the brush piles and it is a uh, really handy for burning weeds and brush it's just one of these torches here and you put it on one of these 20 gallon tanks and that thing's got some uh, firepower so i can do that if i have to we also have the ponds um if i have to break the the ice on the pond i can take the tractor the buck hoe back hoe down there fill up some buckets put them in the back of the ranger and haul it back and forth it's not that big a deal it's just an extra task that we shouldn't have to do and last case scenario if you really had to you could always um boil snow look at all the snow we got all this snow everybody knows snow turns to water ice turns to water when you melt it you always have that option as long as you have a heat source and uh we got firewood we got propane backup stoves we got all kinds of stuff so if we really had to we could get some uh big cast iron kettles that we have out some big pots and pans and we could uh start just filling them with all this snow now it does take a lot of snow to make enough water to be able to drink i mean it takes a lot of snow to make any amount of water liquefied but it is possible so uh let me go see if the kids are coming out here and rachel and uh we'll go get everybody fed we might go on a little adventure uh rachel's wanting to go down to the lake and see if we can get everything done before dark because we're getting close to dark we might take the drone down to our local lake and fly it around take a little look around because the lake is frozen the surface is frozen solid so we're gonna go take a look at that well you finally get to come out in the snow how come you couldn't come out and play before now? Because it, it was, was in the cold. negative. Yeah, it was yeah. been so cold. It and Mojo, Mojo's been waiting forever for you guys to come out and play with him. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. so, uh, we jumped off of that. And um, Caleb, okay. We were playing and Caleb jumped off that brick thing. That brick gate. And you need to zip your coat up. Here, yeah. Mom. I gotta go feed. And uh, he... He fell down and it, it was like this high. It yeah. was covering my it's, body. That's called a snow drift. That's where the snow piles up and makes it real deep. Mm -hmm. Mojo said, oh, I, I really love this snow. Yep. Right, boy? I bet he does. He has a lap fur. Yep. They haven't seen you guys in a while, have they, Caleb? No. Tell everybody hello. Hi. There's Kaya. You're crazy. Are y'all cold yet? No. Yeah. My <laughs> hands are. You are? Mm -hmm. Don't hit each other in the face with snowballs, okay? Yep. You ready to eat, Mo? Huh? You starving? No, you've been eating all the time. He's getting. Oh, I hope this water falls out. He's getting accustomed to eating twice. Twice a day, and then all day long, little snacks. So I've been leaving some, I've been leaving a lot of feed on the ground because all the birds, all the wild birds come in here, and I know there's always feed on the ground, so I've been trying to leave a little extra. And I've been feeding some leftover scraps and stuff outside too for them. Er. It's not near as cold as it was oh, oh yesterday. <laughs> they just discovered the icicles. Be careful with those. Hi Daisy. There she is. 
you doing, pretty girl? You're dirty. What's all over you? All right, no new baby. Thank goodness. That's about the only time I'll say that. Yeah, that's <laughs> way too miserable right now. Everything in here is still going good. Supposed to be back over here. Hey there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Daisy girl. They're chomp chomp chomping. I forgot her hot dog, so I'll have to bring them here in a minute. Forgot your hot dogs. I brought your food. Golly, he's gotten huge. Yeah, they all are. Alright, let's go see what kind of trouble the kids are in. Two socks, what are you doing? I don't know if it's a smart to leave them unsupervised with uh, icicles <laughs> or daggers, whatever you want to call them. Look how white Mojo is. Mojo's supervising. All right, so it's been like 20 minutes since I come out and checked on this water last. <laughs> Did you about fall down? Let's see. <laughs> no. It's slowly getting there. It's going to take it a while. Yep. At least we had this tank filled up with water, which is now ice, but it'll uh, it'll take some time, but it'll eventually melt. And they can still get a drink right now. So, anyway, that beats uh, hauling buckets of water back and forth. And we're fortunate enough to have water right now, where a lot of people don't. It's not at this time. All right, I gotta grab this. Thing. Well, it's real powdery, powder. isn't it? Oh, mom, over here is really thick. You mean deep? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, birds! Yeah, little birds. Daddy leaves extra food down there for them so they can come and eat. Coming. All right, let's go over here and check these goats. Mojo's ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Ready to eat, Bubba? There is. Alright, let's go feed before it gets dark and maybe we can head to town. We'll make sure their water is still cool. Yeah, I want to go see the lake. All I see is white. Except Mojo and his dirty rear. Mojo. <laughs> Yeah, we made Skeeter stay in the house, didn't we? Look, it's yeah. Mom. Mom. Don't be jumping on the wall, said. Don't jump on that wall. Get off of it. <laughs> Kevin Mojo's butt is real dirty. You need to clean it. You think Dad needs to... Clean Mojo's behind. Yeah. It's really dirty. <laughs> he can send the snow. Oh, whatever. Oh, it's not working. Where'd Kelly go? Oh, he's back there. Hi. 
Is that hard to walk in? They were out here playing a while ago. Oh, he wants to play. He don't want to eat yet. Hopefully next week when the forecast said 70. <laughs> Isn't that weird? We had, so here in Oklahoma in how many days time? Seven days time? Or is it more than seven days? I can't remember. Next Thursday is supposed to be 70. Okay. So yesterday again. it was negative 15 when I went to work and next Thursday the forecast says 70 degrees so thank goodness for that let me tell you but only in Oklahoma will, would you ever see that kind of weather it's also supposed to be done snowing and it's snowing again yeah it is are they hiding well ago they were out jumping on their mama. Did you look in that barrel? That blue barrel? Come here, chickens. Come here. Oh. They're in there. There they are. Here. Or, oh yep, yeah, both of them. <laughs> Kaya. I don't see no eggs. There they are. Oh, there's three eggs. Are they froze? No. So I see Usually where. Usually when they freeze, they bust. I seen where somebody said that you can still eat those. I don't know. I've never I've tried. never tried it. Not that I know of. I'm sure we have. But... Oh, here comes the crew. Did you feed them? Yeah. What are they doing over here? I've been feeding them twice a day. So, a lot of times when I come out to feed them, they haven't ate all their food from the previous feeding. So that way they're keeping their bellies full all day long instead of just when we feed them. So if they go back and forth and eat as they want. Except Shadow, she's like... Unless you got a bucket and they think there's uh, imaginary treats in here, I guess. She's definitely pregnant. Uh, yeah, yeah, she is. Mojo, you get hair all over. Kaya, you got snow all over your hat. <laughs> well, I thought it was... I thought that was actual like printed snowflakes. Mm, yeah. No. Let me see. All right, you guys. Uh, tonight you want to put in the video, you guys. So they've been wanting to make some snow ice cream. So I think I'll let Rachel and the kids put that in this video later. We're gonna go to town, do some stuff, fly the drone a little bit, go check out the lake, and then when we get back this evening after we eat dinner, uh, we'll let them make some snow ice cream. We'll try to put it in this video. You guys want to do that? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, your faces are getting red, so we better wrap this up and uh, go get dread off and head to town before it gets dark. Ow. <laughs> what? That mojo oh, loves that really, when the kids come it's out. It's really packed up. Yeah. Don't play in this snow out here. <laughs> it's brown snow. Well, the coats are out here. I wouldn't think that's a very good idea. Okay, so we're back in town and we were gonna get out and take some footage with the GoPro, but I'm a chicken and I was freezing. I didn't dress in double layers. So Kevin did some uh, drone footage and the kids decided but they were starving to death, so we have to go eat at our favorite Mexican restaurant, Los, Los Cocos. Cocos. <laughs> so we're gonna go eat, and when we get home, you guys are making yeah. snow ice cream. Exactly. So don't spoil the video. We already <laughs> we already said we were making it. So anyway, we'll see you back at home, I guess. Yep. Yep.
that was a little too deep for you, buddy. All right, guys, we just got back from town. Uh, we went down, flew the drone around our local lake, like I was saying, because the surface is froze. But within the last couple days, they've dropped the lake like four foot, generating a lot of power through all our water turbines. And the surface of the lake was still frozen, but there was places where there was just huge cracks to where the lake level was up here. And then all of a sudden it dropped after the top froze. It was pretty cool looking. I don't know how much of the footage I got on the drone. Uh, like I said, I've been having problems with this drone, saving some of the uh, footage on the SD card. Hopefully it shows up on there and I can share it with you guys. I thought it was pretty cool. But I'm out here real quick. Uh, I just wanted to come out here and check their uh, water. As you can see, we're making progress. It's still taking a lot of time, but now at least half of it is melted. And there's Miss Daisy. Oh, you know, girl. Was you in your nest getting all warm, huh? I didn't mean to disturb you. Anyways, guys, so this is good. Good news. Uh, like Rachel said, next week they're calling uh, the weather to be up in the 70s or 70 degrees one day. So how awesome would that be? I think we're on the up and up now. Uh, every day it's supposed to be a little warmer than the last. So that's always a positive. I'm going to get this camera back to the kids. And Rachel, they're fixing to make their little snow ice cream. I think they're going to finish it in the house. But look at the sun. You guys can see the sun's going down. That's a, that's a pretty view with the pink and the blue sky. Come on, Skeeter. You're not staying out here anymore. We let him out earlier, and uh, he played and played until he came in the house. And he had snowballs hanging all over him. <laughs> Rachel had to stick him in the bathtub and uh, thaw him out. All right, so uh, let's see if these... Kids and Rachel know how to make this ice cream. So we're back at the house now and we're gonna show you a super easy and simple snow ice cream recipe mm -hmm. uh, because we're out here making the best of all this snow we got. Yeah. And the kids are kind of bored so we're doing something fun. So mm -hmm. they're gonna go collect some uh, clean snow. Yep. No yellow snow. No. <laughs> or brown snow. So they're gonna get five to six cups of snow. All right. Go get clean snow. Get close to your brother. Oh, crap. Don't get no grass in it. Okay, that's good. It's All right. Cold. All right, let's go back to the house. Okay, so we have got four ingredients. You've got five to six cups of snow. You've got one cup of sugar. We've got about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla and then one cup of milk. And then we're gonna try some toppings. We've just got some sprinkles and some chocolate syrup. So we're gonna dump our snow. We're gonna dump about three cups in the bowl. And then we're going to mix all these ingredients. And then we're gonna dump the remainder of the snow in here and mix it all really good. So Kaya's gonna dip about half that bowl in the large mixing bowl. <laughs> it's okay. It's just snow. It don't know. Okay. Now Caleb, go ahead and dump your milk. Okay. And then, yep, the vanilla. It's a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And then your cup sugar. of sugar. That's a lot. Okay, and then mix it really good. It smells good. Does it? Get all that sugar mixed in there. Really loud. That's okay. Alright, you think that's good? Mm hmm Okay, now I'll dump the rest of the snow in there. That bowl's really heavy, so let Caleb help you. And you kind of got to be quick before it all melts. 
It's all right. <laughs> that almost was a disaster. Yeah. Okay, now mix that in there. Not too good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I had the kids go get a little more snow because it's so hot in our house um, from our wood stove, it's melted pretty quick. So Kaya, add some more with this. Add some more snow to it and Caleb mix it up when she gets some more in there. And you can put it in the freezer in the meantime if it starts to melt, but they want to eat it right away. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now let Caleb mix it up. I'm not gonna try to mix it up too often. Okay, now let's get some bowls. Okay, you guys dip however much you want. Okay. And then you can add the toppings if you want. Oh, I definitely. Okay, let Caleb have some. Okay. <laughs> Good thing that bowl's not breakable. That would have been bad. Okay, get you a spoon. Caleb, <laughs> you're eating it with a fork. You ready? Not too much. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Sprinkles. No one could ever miss out on that. It's not coming out real good. Get your spoon, Bubba. Here we go. Will you get sissy one? Oh. Hey, get it turned That looks pretty good. Yep. Well, I'm not really hungry, so I'm not gonna eat much. How's it taste? Good. It tastes like normal vanilla ice cream, except it's a little grainy. A little what? Grainy. Grainy. That's probably from the sugar. Chocolate ice cream now. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's melting quick. Yeah, but it's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys wanna help me close the video out? Yeah. Okay, so thank you guys for joining us on the farm today and doing a little bit of this and that, uh, enjoying some of the uh, snow and different things mm -hmm. and thanks for following us on on our tours and it is you watch the whole video like if you want to <laughs> like and subscribe subscribe and ring the bell for future notifications mm -hmm. and thank you guys so much for sticking with us we appreciate it and you guys have an awesome day bye, Goodbye.